Hey guys, welcome back to the plugin series. The plugin we are looking at today is called What's Trending. So if you have used Google Trends or if you want to know what's trending on YouTube, what's trending on Instagram, TikTok or Amazon, you can use this plugin. So I have installed this plugin and enabled this plugin. So let me close it. So this plugin is now enabled for me. So before we look at it, let's try to understand what this plugin can do. So it will basically provide you uh, insights into trending content across various digital platforms, which we discussed. So who are the target audience for this? So basically it is mostly for social media research. If you are creating content, valuable insights on what's trending, for a specific time period, what sort of searches are happening would be really useful. And if you are using any of the existing tools, you can get that data, but it won't give you in greater detail. Um, and we are going to look at what additional data you will get here. So the first thing is you can query three things. One is search trends. So search trends basically allows you to find the trending keywords and hashtags across various platforms. Google, YouTube, Amazon, Instagram and TikTok. It is useful for content creators or if you are planning to run a marketing campaign or also you are interested in tracking the current trends. So search profiles. So you can search profiles trending on social media on various platforms like YouTube, Instagram and TikTok. This can be a useful networking, competitive analysis or influencer marketing. Or if you want to reach out to the most popular influencers for a specific period, this might also be useful for you. Get profile. So if you zero in on a specific profile, you want more information about them, then you can provide that as an input, you will get it. So we are going to look at three different one here. The first one, let's take this example here top trending keywords on Google for the month of July or you can retrospectively ask a older month it would still work or if you want a specific topic that's also covered in the PPT you are free to try it out. So we saw the plugin being enabled and it gave the timeline June 18th to June 23rd powered by Surge AI. So Surge AI is the company that made this plugin and if you look at it uh, severe thunderstorms, student loan, weather near me and uh, 19th holiday and various other stuff. So these are some of the top trends that happened and we are also seeing data on here, right? So if you go to Google Trends and let me take one of this topic. So let's basically take student loans. If you do student loans here, in any specific region or any specific geography. So let's assume you want to do a 30 day window. So if you do it, you generally get a normalized data here from zero to 100 over a period of time. You just know when the traffic was at peak and what's the relative traffic today. But we would not get data, which is uh, the percentage increase over the previous time and how many people search this data. So if you are creating newly content, this data might be useful for you because this helps you to get more views on your channel or use the right hashtags to grow your social media influence. So that's basically what it's talking about. 940% growth here indicates the relative increase in number of searches for a keyword over a period of time compared to the previous period. This is the number of times the keyword was searched. So this idea gives you an idea of absolute popularity or the demand for a specific keyword. And after this, let's look at uh, Instagram. So probably you might be interested in what are the most popular hashtags on Instagram for a specific month. So this would give you that. And I have already taken a screenshot of this. So it is giving you the similar data and the metrics are exactly the same. So I won't go cover that again. What we looked at the previous one, it's exactly the same, but it gives you an idea. If you are 
especially a new creator trying to grow your influence using the most popular hashtags in a given time helps you grow your channel and it also has a uh, similar other queries it you could use it for profiles or if you are a fitness brand you can track trends regarding fitness and other stuff so basically that's what it is and if you click on this it goes to the instagram with that specific hashtag and you can see all the latest trends here okay and after that let's move on to the next one so similarly to amazon give me the top trending searches on a prime day or if you are looking for a specific product you can just see when was the peak search interest um, to just track what's the interest people might be searching for that product and you can see uh, when the product might be available for you if you are on the wait list or if it is too expensive you can wait for the price to drop when the interest goes down so you also got the instagram data here and after this similarly you can also do it for tiktok i've tried it uh, it works for tiktok so i'm not covering that here but if you guys want let's do one quick prompt here so i'll just ask one prompt uh, the top trending videos in last 30 days so it will give you that while this query goes through yeah it's almost done so it's giving the uh, top trending videos i didn't say tiktok so it's most likely giving youtube i believe so i have to explicitly yeah it's giving youtube because since i saw the data i figured out it was not uh tiktok so let me say on tiktok and you will get the tiktok specific data here and after this you can also we already saw youtube so i'm not covering that or if you want to uh, query data about specific profiles you can do that too similarly for instagram and tiktok it works so we are not covering that and get profile so you know mr beast is the most popular youtuber uh, so let's see uh, if we can get some specific details and next one is a cricketer and third one seems to be a popular uh, tiktok creator so i didn't i don't know the third one i know the first two so let me do some queries here. And the second one, I would do that. I would not do anything else. So this basically covers uh, everything we are looking for in the plugin. If you know of any use case I didn't cover, or if you want any other use cases which you think needs to be looked into, you can do that too. You can just leave a message. I would get back to you and probably do a part two. If not, let's move on to the next plugin. And by this, by the time this is out, I think that's what it is. So if you click on this uh, link, it will take you to the person's uh, Instagram account and you can see how many followers they have and all this stuff. So similarly, if you are looking for some sale tracking specific brands, you can do that here. So I hope this helps. Thank you for joining.